Okay then guys, welcome back to another video. Sorry I keep going absent as well guys, I've got a lot of stuff I'm working on at the moment. A new idea that I've I've told our email lists about and uh, the interest is enormous. The interest is crazy. Which I knew it would be because it's probably the best opportunity that's ever been given to this industry. Like, and when I reveal it, you guys are going to be like, yeah, that makes so much sense. This is nuts. Like... How is this even profitable for you guys? And when you look at it, you're going to be like, okay, you've spent a lot of time on this. So I'll be unveiling that to you guys soon. Uh, there's only going to be 300 limited places. It's pretty crazy what we're doing. I think I'm going to end up owning like 50 hotel chains around the world long term. I think that's the scope of this. This is how big it's going to be. It's not just me on my own. I've got a business partner. Some of the most successful people in the UK are interested in getting involved in this. We're messaging back and forth like... It's going to be pretty nuts, so look out for that, guys. There's going to be limited places. It's um, it's pretty crazy. But before we start this video, if you want to grab our course, Life Setup, Marathon Mindset, uh, Framing, Attracting Women, Body Language, all this stuff, uh, I just uploaded two videos yesterday, and I did a video, I forgot to mention to you guys, where I broke down how Dan Bilzerian did it how Dan Bilzerian built his his entire life setup. Over an hour long, really interesting video. Uh, I think I'll do more. I think I'll do more on other guys that have done something similar and how they've set their lives up. It's almost become like the new body language analysis video that was quite fun to do. So I'll do more of those, but that's below. You can get it on the link below. Uh, our men's lifestyle supplement, over 20,000 units sold, free shipping worldwide, and 10% off if you subscribe monthly. And uh, our streaming platform is linked below as well. If you want to check out some more content, a little bit higher quality, a lot more content on the way. I, I do. I might do a separate video on it soon and discuss the platform itself. Uh, but yeah, into the video, guys. So the video here. Uh, I'm what I'm going to do. I thought it'd be a good idea if you like this as well, guys, because I don't think many people are touching on fashion in this industry. Uh, if you like this idea, we're going to dive into it more and do a lot more fashion stuff. Maybe some in-person things, maybe some, you know, it's, it'll, it, there's a lot of content we can do in this space. We can open it up. So I thought, why not show you guys a lot of sites that I use, that I shop at, different price ranges. So, you know, anybody can get their hands on these, but mainly a higher level price, because I think it's important as a man not to wear cheap stuff. I think as a woman, you can wear a £20 bodycon dress if you've got hips and boobs and an ass, and you can look like a 10. I think as a man, you you will look cheap. You will look cheap. There's uh, this first one that we're going to look at, Richard James. They've actually got a coat. I've got a similar coat. I don't wear it anymore because it started thread, like all the threads have started coming out. It's a little bit fluffy. It doesn't quite work the same as it used to. I even got it tailored and it fits to perfection. It's a very nice coat, too... I think maybe 200 pounds. The one they've got on here is like seven, 800. You can see the difference. Okay. So it's not going to be the cheapest brands in the world, but I don't see that as a negative. There's a, there's so many videos out there where you can, you go and watch them and they'll be like Zara gap. It's just, I, I'm not interested in that. I want you guys to be wearing the best of the best. I want you to strive for the best of the best. So what I've got here is roughly, I think it's about 13 shops that I've shopped at and bought clothes from. Um, they're probably my favorites. It's probably my go-tos, probably the first places that I go to to shop. It's what I would recommend to you guys. Uh, and I've included one footwear company in there because I wouldn't mind doing a separate video on footwear companies. So let me know what you think. Let me know if it's a good idea. And I'll do another video like this. I didn't want to just do two in one. But the company that I've included for footwear, they're very much, they do all shoes. That's why I've included them. So then it goes across the board. Okay, so let's just get started, guys. So this to begin with is Richard James, Savile Row. If you don't know what Savile Row is, it's basically just a stretch in London, an area in London where all the best tailors and cut cutters in the world are, where if you want a suit fitted, you go there. Okay, and it's wildly historic. Um, just have a search, have a have a little look around. Uh, but Richard James is more of like a modern take on Savile Row. So they they they've kept the fundamentals, but it's more of a modern take. And they've really caught my eye recently with some of their clothing. I love this video too. 
Uh, I think the way they're doing it is very Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, uh, but with a modern twist, a modern fit as well. Uh, they do men's and women's, but, you know, outfits like this. I'm What you'll notice about me is I like the classics. I like fundamentals. I like kind of dark colours. And you'll look at that and you'll go pink. That's not a dark colour, but it is. It's a muted pink. It's not like a bright... You could have much brighter pinks than that. You can have a Barbie pink and whatnot. That is a dark pink. That is a, It's actually called dusty pink. I think the jumper and then the, the other one's salmon. This is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about dark muted colours. And with his skin tone, this works perfectly. I love, and you'll notice this about me, statement pieces. So you could have black shoes, Chelsea boots, black jeans, trousers, whatever, and then bang, it's like pink on pink statement piece. Who's doing that? You know, and if you've got the level of confidence, if you're the right type of guy, you can pull that off. And I just love things like that, where you kind of get your basic staple fundamentals. Maybe you, maybe you even have a black coat. Okay, so you go and get a black coat, black jeans, black shoes. You're not really an outlandish guy. But then you just get this dusty pink. It just does something. It just brings it all together, you know, guys? It just has an extra kick to it. And one thing I'm going to promote throughout this video, and I've always promoted you guys, is I think you should be brave with fashion. I think you should take risks. The area that you live in will impact that. Because if you live in like a small town in the UK or somewhere in America where it's very blue collar... Um, you're going to get the piss taken out of you. You're going to wear certain things and people are going to be like, who do you think you are? What the hell is this? They're going to call you gay. They're going to call you all sorts, right? I've had it all my life. Especially if you show up in the double pink or the dusty pink or whatnot. If you move to certain areas, it's a lot easier. When, I'm, when I was in London and when I'm in London, people give you compliments on stuff. Where'd you get that? I need to... It's a mindset difference. But I think you should be brave. No matter where you are, I think you should... It's not necessarily like peacocking or trying to stand out. It's just trying new things because then you find your style. You understand what you're actually into. Uh, and yeah, Richard James, fantastic site. A little bit expensive. That might be the loudest exhaust I've ever heard in my life. And I have no idea what that is. If you can't hear it, I just seem like a weirdo. Um, but yeah, look, you can see on its own, it's quite simple. 135 quid for the thinner one, but this is a chunkier one. I know they do this in dark blue as well, I believe. Uh, but 455, and now guys are going to look at that and be like, what, for a turtleneck? Are you kidding? If you don't have the money right now, I agree. I do actually agree. 135, you can afford that. But it's just, it's the quality. And people go, oh, you can get the same thing, but you can't. I've tried it. Like I said, I've got a coat out there for 200 pounds. That's expensive. That is an expensive coat. Like, not in the big picture, but it for all of us, we'd be like £200 for a coat. Okay, yeah, that's like, yeah, I would say that's a hefty price. Regardless of what you earn. But once you get up to these bigger figures, and we'll see on this site in a minute of a similar coat, um, I've, I've definitely worn it in videos. Maybe I'll go and grab it and compare it and show you guys the differential. And what, that'll be a good idea, actually. But you'll see, just that extra three, four, five hundred pounds it just makes you look significantly better. It just fits better. It sits better. Like, some brands are fake. You know, these, like, luxury brands, like people, oh, this is Gucci head to toe. It's not much better than anything else. That is when you're paying for a logo. But when you get these sort of brands, Richard James, and you know it's a Savile Row brand, and they've taken their time, and they've really put some effort into it, it is a different level of quality. And it will, it will, it will sit differently on your body, it, it will make you look significantly better. I've told a lot of people this in the past. I've met a lot of you guys in person. And a lot of you guys have told me I've started dressing differently because of what you've said. I've started shopping at different places, wearing different clothes. And yeah, I'm getting a lot more attention and I'm getting treated differently in life in general. You know, even by men and stuff like that. It makes a difference, trust me. Take risks, okay? That's my two lessons here. That would be too far for me. The pink, that'd be too far for me. And I don't like jumpers like that. I don't like the multicolor. I've never been a fan of that. Um, but these sort of items are great. I love that outfit that we saw at the start, the pink and pink. Like, that really resonates with me. That's just something different. Let's have a look at their coats. This is gonna this is gonna be a big thing on this channel, isn't it, guys? I can feel feel this already. Fashion. I don't think anybody's doing it like this. I think we start, I think we'll really dive deep into this. We try. Do you guys remember the transformation thing I said I wanted to do? 
a lot of you have sent me emails. I've got them in a folder. We're ready to go. So I will be emailing a lot of you guys. I said I wanted to do a transformation project for the streaming platform. When you come in, we have a professional barber, skincare expert, clothes and whatnot. We've got the location, the people, the barber, skincare expert, the camera crew. Everything's ready to go. All I have to do is go, yep, that date. Let's go and then message all you guys. The reason we can't get that over the line is there's all these fashion brands are currently... So it's like a Tom Ford GQ thing. He did it back in the day. All these fashion brands, I'm messaging them. They're not replying. So if you're a fashion brand and you're watching this and you do this sort of clothing, email me. Get in touch. Go on our website. Message me. Whatever. Get in touch. Um, it's like 170,000 men that are going to see your brand. Like, what... Do, do brands not check their emails anymore? It's absolutely nuts to me. Like, it's, it's the easiest money you can make in 2024. Like, just message me. Um, I like this. I like the green. The green really works. Uh, that looks a bit businessy. But you can see some really nice stuff. Like, you can see the pink, the dusty pink when it's paired. Looks really, really good. Uh, but I love these sort of colors, like the dark greens. That's the jacket. Like, on its own, it doesn't look that great. But when paired with that, it just works so well. So it's, it's why you have to test things out. I think this is the same. These are the same jackets. So if you're not that brave and you want to go for something more muted, go for something like this. I know 450 guys, it's steep, but this this is the cost of men's fashion. Like I said, you could get the most attractive woman in the world. You could put her in a 20 pound dress and 10 pound heels. Uh, let's say 30 pound heels from uh, I don't know something like TK Maxx. And then you could go and get a dress for like £20 off some TikTok site, some, what's that one that everyone keeps getting thousands of ads for, Timu. She could look amazing. All she has to do is smell good and we're like, that's my, that's my wife. Like it, But for us, we need to look like we have money. We need to look like quality. It's not so much the visuals. It's like, oh, it fits well. It's a good quality. Like the amount of times I've been wearing a coat, jacket, whatever, and a woman's felt it. Like they'll grab it and feel it and go, ooh, that's a nice material. Where'd you get that? They want to check if it's cheap and plasticky and stuff like that. This is a real thing. The I love these. I love these. I think the black doesn't quite work. I think it's a bit KBG. K, KBG. KGB. Yeah, okay. We got it. That's, that's how secret if they are. You can't even say the name properly. Uh, that has the same sort of vibe, but this, I love this. Especially with these trousers, I think that's paired beautifully. Two grand, some of you might be like, that's nuts. However, I got told by a guy before, and I'm not saying for you to buy this, like that is, that's probably out of the price range to begin with. But I got told by a guy before who is a fashion guy, and I've actually forgot his name, which I feel so rude about. But we worked together on an interview years ago, and he's got like four, five hundred thousand followers on Instagram. And he was telling me about cost per wear. Now, if you bought this coat at the end of September and you had, or let's say 1st of September, right? You're not going to wear it then. It's going to be too warm. But let's say you got, let, let's say you got it 1st of October, all right? You, and you might even get it cheaper in the summer sale. So let's say you got it in August and then you actually wear it in October. So you've got October, November, December, January, February, March, maybe late night in April, okay? And then you've got next year as well. But let's just take into account that single year, You've got seven months. So if we were to divide that down, let's just do that quickly to get an exact figure. I know we could probably just do a rough calculation in the head. But let's just divide that by, let's say you wear it pretty much every day. Let's go real specific, okay? So let's do 1,995 uh, divided by seven, first of all. So you're paying about £285 per month. Let's say you wear it every single day on the average month, 30 days. You're paying about £9.50 per day. So £9.50 per day to wear something that nice that's going to last and you're going to have, uh, as long as you don't do like a bulk or a crazy cut or whatnot, if like, and this, this is some serious advice now, guys. I'm glad I mentioned, I'm glad I came across this train of thought. Finish your body transformation before you spend a lot of money on clothes. Nobody ever mentions this. It, I did it. I, I messed up. I would I would I would go and spend like three, four thousand pounds on clothes and then put on ten kilograms and go, shit, that top that was like that cashmere jumper that was four hundred pounds doesn't fit me anymore. One idiot. Like it's just dumb. Do you know what I mean? So you're better off finishing your body transformation, get into your kind of like like I'm a large now. 
and an ex- extra large in some things, but mainly just a large for it to fit properly. I'm probably not going to grow out of that size. Do you know what I mean? It's pretty good. Like I'm 92 kilograms. I'll probably make it back to 95, 96, which is my rough normal weight. I just cut for boxing. I buy clothes that are large and they fit perfectly. Okay. So once you know what your final form is, then you can spend the big money. Before that, you, you're you probably better off going quite cheap and just, it's like babies. What are you going to do? Like they grow so quick. You're going to go and spend like 10 grand on an outfit and then it doesn't fit the baby in six months. Like it's stupid. So finish your final form. But like I was saying, £9.50 per wear for a coat that is that nice, that is going to make you feel high level, that is going to keep you warm. So it's purposeful too. You could wear that thing every single day without fail. And you could wear it for the next 10 years. As long as you don't change your body, whatnot, and this is what I'm talking about. So you could go, you could, you could finish a body transformation at 25, and you could still have that coat till 35. Like it's gonna last. Uh, and this is, I'm not massive. I'm not like against streetwear, but I don't believe in it too much for multiple reasons. I think you give off a weird impression to the world, and like, I appreciate we're only on clo- item on brand one here, guys. I will try and fly through this. Um, but and I, I tell you what, I'll do for you guys as well, and I, I, I will timestamp each thing if I can, because then you can just quickly see the brands if you want to. If you ever want to come back and be like, what were those brands again? I'll timestamp them so you know, and maybe even list them below so it's easier to find. But with streetwear, I think it gives off a weird impression to the world. I think it makes you look like a man child. And number two, it's constantly in and out of fashion. Whereas this sort of stuff doesn't change. Like this sort of coat, you could have bought this coat in probably 1920 and it would still be relevant today. That, that's what I like. If I'm going to spend two pa- two two pound, I wish. If I was going to spend two thousand pound on a coat, I want it to last. I want to be able to wear that thing for the next like ten years, fifteen years, whatever. There's so much you can pair this with as well. I think that's too that's too typical. That I don't. I'm not sure. I think if you paired that with different colors, it would look great. But this one for me is just that that looks fantastic. That's quite a nice coat. That's a lovely jacket. You can you can pair that with so many different items of clothing. This is what I was talking about. Let me go and get mine. So look at this one here, right? Look at the quality of it. It looks fantastic. Let's let's actually click on this. Let's zoom in. All sold out pretty much. Let's zoom in on this coat. Can we go closer? Okay, that's as close as we can go. I'll go and get mine. Look at the difference. Right, so I don't know if you can see, but this is mine. And can you see this, guys? I'll try and get a bit closer. Can you see all the fluff? The focus is going to be out, but can you see all the fluff? Mm -hmm. I'll sit down for a second, but I've got to take this off in a minute. It's it's only February and it's already pretty boiling in this house. This summer, I think I'm just going to go to like Miami or LA for like a few months, just get away, go somewhere where they have aircon because this house is unbearable. Or move back to London. But you can see the difference, right? This is kind of bitty. It fits well. It looks nice, but it's kind of bitty. Like, if I'm feeling this now and it's... I remember when I first bought it, I was like, oh, what a nice coat. And I was like, I, was like, I just want something that looks like that for a few months. And, and after, like, three weeks, I was like, it's starting to fray. There's, like, bits coming off it. Now, let's take a look at the price of that one. And that, that coat... Even it's a. Let me get the focus back just in case. That coat is uh, Massimo Ducci. They're a good brand. I li- I like that brand. I've recommended them to you guys before. Uh, but their stuff doesn't last, which is annoying. Because if you're going to spend like four five hundred pounds, and then in three months time you need to do it again, it's just not sustainable. But if that was two hundred, Maybe even one six nine. I think it's starting to come back to me. And this was originally one five down to nine. I, I know brands do that, so you can't really trust it. Um, one hundred percent wool. What else have we got? But you can tell. You can tell the difference, right? This is just a far superior coat. You, you just you look different. Like this guy's obviously in shape, which helps. That's massive. Get in shape to look good in clothes. It's a no brainer. Uh, but that's tailored to perfection. Really fits him well without being too tight. You know, he's got movement in the arms. Like, it just looks fantastic. That's a great outfit as well. If you if you want some outfit inspiration, take this. Okay, that's like a bog standard. It's, it's not bog standard. It looks great. But it's almost like your bog standard go-to if you want to be... You know, guys are trying to dress like a high-level man. And they've got the cigar and the whiskey and like 19 buttons open. 
that's not it. That's it. Like, that is, that's your normal go-to. And I'll tell you what I mean. Turtleneck, overcoat, trousers. They kind of look like suede Oxfords or something like that. But you can just get Chelsea boots. You can get some, like, casual Oxfords or actual Oxford shoes. It's pretty easy. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't think it's that hard to dress well. It's just 900. That was 150, wasn't it? So we're talking just over 1,000, probably 1,002. You're probably talking like a 1,400 pound outfit. This is the cost of being a man. It's not easy. And people go, you can do it on a budget. It's not going to look like that. And after, here's what I've noticed. After one wash, it's done. You've got to buy a new one. The amount of clothes I've bought, they're like, oh, it's a hundred pound jumper or a 50 pound t-shirt. It'll be fine. I've got a really wide back. You guys know after one wash, that's it. It starts to ride at the back and I'm like, it doesn't fit anymore. I'm like forever sat there pulling it down, pulling it down, just looking like I'm petrified to be in that environment and it's just not a good look. So Richard James, Water Brands, they would actually be perfect for our transformation things. So anybody from Richard James watching this, message me. Next up, Pinny Palmer. I found these guys about six months ago during the summer. I found like a safari jacket that they did. Very, very nice. Um, this guy models most of their stuff. This silver fox. Um, can we look at all clothing? Okay, I get what they're doing. No, I don't get what they're doing. So they're doing lookbooks. Okay, we'll just go through it. Well, that's not actually a bad thing. Do they actually have a lookbook? That could be pretty cool. Let's have a look, guys. No. This is the thing. You should buy these magazines, follow these companies, get the lookbooks, because they give you inspiration. It's like how I designed my house, because I was following interior design companies. It really helps. So what do we want to look at, guys? We want to look at... Should we just go for jacket? Let's just flick through. Let's just do what I would normally do. And I'm not, I'm not going to do as much talking as I did on the first brands. But let's just start looking through some of these. Some of these jackets are really nice. Uh, I would say it's a little bit cheaper. Maybe a little bit based on what you're getting. But some of these are nice, right, guys? So this is Pinny Palmer. P-I-N-I and then Palmer. Spelt like the destination. Yeah, I like these. This is this is a more formal website. These this is really nice. This whole fit here, the grey, I can't really be on it because when I'm on it it changes, but that grey with the kind of I would say it's like an ecru white, that looks great. That's another bog standards. You set that up. Less than a thousand pounds, you'd probably set all that up. If you just need one standout suit, that's a cracker. I think are these the safari jackets? Yeah, safari jacket. So they had something similar to this in the summer. It looks, it was a little bit more lightweight. It was really nice. And I was going to get one of those. That's how I found them. But yeah, they do some great stuff. Real formal, really, really professional. Across the board suits, dinner jackets, casual jackets. That's a great, that's a great outfit. That's fantastic. The gray, the gray and the brown. It's just, it's, it's adventurous without being over the top. It's a hard art to, to master. You know, the typical colours, like a navy and whatnot, that's tough. That's going to make you stand out. That's a bit of thought. It's the grey, the grey, and the kind of, like, soily, earthy brown. That looks great. Um, that's probably too many colours, but it really does stand out. But this, this is something I would go for. That's a great outfit if you need inspiration. The only problem is with a lot of these outfits is you take that jacket off and you're just wearing grey, grey. There's a lot of that. I'm not saying that's a problem, it's just you have to wear it at a certain time of year. You have to know where you're going, you have to plan ahead. If you're going into a really, like, warm venue where you know, like, they blast the heaters up, you're probably like, well, I can't really wear that. Do you know what I mean? Because you're going to have to take it off and then it destroys the entire outfit. But yeah, some great stuff. Let's have a look at what else they've got. Let's have a look at their knitwear. Their suits are great too, but knitwear is pretty normal, pretty normal stuff. I don't know if I get my knitwear from here. I know it's cashmere 300. I've got a, a better one than that. But in terms of suits, jackets, this is pretty fantastic. It's a pretty good brand. I like a lot of their stuff. Just have a filter through, guys. You can see like this is the sort of clothing that 
I'm advising you guys to wear. So just have a filter through. My friend's got this actually. It looks really good. Like these are great. What are these? 199? You get one of these each. The navy and the kind of like grey. That looks pretty good, right? There's a lot you could pair that with. Those look fantastic. Let's move on. Boda skins. So Boda skins is just leather. Wait, they do a few other things, but it's mainly just their leather jackets. I've never seen this color. See, that stands out to me. It's different. I've got this. I've got the K Michaels 3. But that looks so different. Do you know what I don't like about kind of... Like when they go for like aviators or Sherlin jackets, like I don't like it when they do the sleeves and the, the hem at the, bot at the bottom. I think it would look so much better if they just did the top. I think the top on its own without the sleeves... Yeah, uh, I think the top on its own without the sleeves and without the hem, I think would look way better. I think it would bring it together better. I think that makes you look a bit like Santa Claus. It suits women, doesn't suit men. This is nice. The Spitfire, they're, they're very expensive, but they're statement pieces. You know, you only, you only need one of these. Getting a few offers here, guys. That's very nice. I like that. What's it called? The Spanish Merino Sherling Trucker. That is different. That, with, with it open. I don't think I'd wear it buttoned up, but I'd wear it open like that. I think that looks fantastic. Um, that's very nice. You could pair that with so many different things. I think the kind of black with the silver zippers. I would even go for the black with the black zippers because they allow you to change the hardware. But yeah, the, the leather jackets on here are fantastic. Have a little search through, guys. They're always releasing new things. The Spitfire looks nice. I think when you pair that with like a white tee or black tee, you could be streetwear, professional, whatever. That really, really works. They do a lot more as well. When on here, we'd have, you know, there's, there's so many that they do. If you went on shop all, it's brown jackets, white, you've got some shoes now and stuff like that. But it's, like I said, they're mainly about their leather jackets. And in my opinion, they do the best leather jackets in the world. So that's what I would go for. This sort of thing is more streetwear. I don't like it when things are written on the tees. It's not, I'm not really a fan of that. I prefer plain. Um, but yeah, the leather jackets, uh, some of the best in the world. That's nice too. Really nice. I think I've got that. I think I've got the black with the gold or silver. Okay, no, I've got the black with the silver, but I wanted the gold. It was just sold out. I think it looks really good. Five, 510, but you're not buying it. Once you're in the shape that you're going to be in, you're not buying it again, right? The Hendrix, that makes sense. That's really nice. So next up, we've got Luca Filoni, one of my favorite brands who could do this transformation project for us as well. They have lookbooks, which is really good. Um, they kind of style it based on seasons. So you can just go through and just see like what they've paired it with and certain environments that they're in. Like it's a whole theme. Like I've told you guys before, it's a whole thing. I've got this. It's very nice. The only thing it did was it fell open after a few washes. I've got a white one that didn't, but this fell open. It became a little bit lackluster up here. But, you know, you're getting a lot of wears out of it. I was probably, I probably wore it like 50 times. So, you know, of course it's going to get a little bit weaker. It's probably my duty to buy another one. Uh, the only thing that I've ever been let down on was their t-shirts. Now I've got a weird body shape. I'm, I am deceivingly big. My back is very, it's really wide. You guys have seen it. And it makes t-shirts lift. But I found after one wash, it was kind of see-through. First wear, it was brilliant. You know, if you just want one for one night out, get it. But... After that, it was a little bit see-through. It was a white one, and it didn't fit the same. It was a bit baggy. I had, I actually did throw it out. But it's the only bad piece of clothing I've ever had from these from these guys. But look, see that guy's in shape. You can't look good in fashion and be out of shape. It's very rare. Like, just you have to get in shape. So let's actually look through. Uh, my favorite thing with these guys is, I think probably their shirts and their knitwear. So that, that jumper, just such a staple. I know it's 295. They do this in navy blue as well. It looks great. Let's actually go on it. Pure cashmere. You have to be careful when you wash it. You have to hand wash it or get it professionally done. You can't just throw it in the wash. Otherwise, you're going to say, Chris, I spent 295 quid. I threw it in the wash. It shrank. I hate you. So watch out. You have to, you have to wash these things differently. But I like the white and I like the navy blue. I think these two look great. Not with the t-shirt underneath. Don't do that, guys. That ruins everything. Right? And there's certain colours look terrible. That looks cheap. If you were, if I saw you in this, I'd think, oh, you just bought a cheap jumper. If I saw you in this, I'd be like, this guy shopped somewhere expensive. Colours make a massive difference. Same with this. 
The blue without that. That is just, oh, it's killing me. Take that away. But like even this, like that looks terrible. Terrible. Cheap. Cheap. Terrible. Expensive. Great. Expensive. Great. But that looks fantastic. It's weird. Certain colours just look so much better. And they've always got stock as well, which is what I like about them. Let's have a look. What else? These like... They've got these quarter zips as well. They're really nice. I bought one before. Fit it, fit it great. It, it looked fantastic. It's, it's they're kind of muscle fit. They do look really good. Uh, some of their turtlenecks are nice. This is nice. Clearly, they've got the chunky ones, which I'm a fan of. I think if you get the right color as well, midnight blue. That is nice. The black, the black looks fantastic. Uh, with these, the thinner ones, you could you can go for a range of colors. I think it's. That, you could pair that with a few things, but you've got to be careful. You can't just go for like a black jacket, white sort of neck. It's a little bit too much. Uh, I have this one, and I believe I have that one. They look great. Uh, so what else we got? So the other thing I want to show you with these guys is their shirts. I bought some of their trousers too. They are nice, but they've got... Let's just go shirts in general. I've got this. I love this. This has lasted the test of time. If you're if you're looking for a high quality shirt, remember I was going to make them back in the day. This site actually put me off making them because when I ordered from here, I was like, "Oh, I have to get to that level. It might be quite difficult." This shirt is just fantastic. Now I prefer a collar that goes straight down here, but they they look great as you can see. If you're in shape, like you roll the sleeves up, you're gonna look fantastic for 170 pound as well. A few great colors. I wouldn't wear that. I would wear that. I think that might be the best one they've got. The white, it does actually look pretty good. The black, it depends what you'd what you'd wear it with. The, this, yeah, you could do something with that. This is a bit much. You could definitely wear that, depending on the season, and that. Probably not that. It's weird, isn't it, guys? Like different shades of green. Like that looks terrible. That looks great. It's really weird. Men's fashion is so strange. Uh, that's really nice. Portofino linen shirt for summer. What else have I got? Um, I don't have that one. I've got a few of them on here though. But yeah, I've probably spent about three, four grand with these guys. Like even this guy, like no offense to this guy, if he's watching, he's pretty skinny, pretty old. That shirt looks great on him. Do you know what I mean? Looks fantastic. And that is that one there. Oh, it's this one I've got, the Sienna PK shirt. This is fantastic, guys. Now, I've got this in white. Look. That's a hell of a shirt. You've probably seen me wear this a few times. Like, that looks... It, the quality is thick as well. It's real heavy cotton. Probably a bit sweaty for summer. Uh, that looks good. That looks really good. It's actually a little bit longer than that. If it, Like, I've, I wear the large and it does feel... Like, a, a good oversized, if that makes sense. I think I've got that one. That's the one that's sprayed out. Uh, I've not got any of the black ones, but they're quite nice. But... Yeah, it's not a bad colour. I like that, that, and that. That would be the three that I'd go for. But yeah, one of my favorite stores, Luca Filoni. Okay, they're fantastic. Reese, now a lot of you are going to know about Reese and it's a lot more affordable. Um, I think the good thing about Reese is the constant, every single season they're bringing out new stuff. They're always staying on top of things. There's always a local store near you, so you can always pop in and... It's not cheap. It really isn't cheap at all. But I think it's affordable for most men. So if we just go for... What can we go for? Have they got... Let's go for their, let's go for their knitwear. It's, it's pretty much... You can pretty much get, look, like, £98, whatever. It's just... It's, it's, I think it's the cheapest... I think, I think it's probably the most expensive cheap brand out there. Does that make sense? Is that a fair verdict? Uh, but stuff like this, like you can really kick yourself out. If you just want stuff like if you're going on holiday or if you want stuff. And also with Reese, if you're at an airport, go into a Reese. They have way more things that aren't out yet. So you can be wearing them like months before everyone else. But this is nice. This is nice. I can't really show you like all of Reese because, you know, you just need to get on here and have a little dive around. Merino wool, hoodies, whatever you need. But you, do you know what I use Reese for? Space filling. So I will go and buy the coat from... My coat, and we'll get to this later, is from Alphatari. I think that's on this list. I think it's coming up in three. 
Uh, it was like a £700 coat. I got it tailored. It fits my body. And then I was like, right, I need a turtleneck. Let me just pop into Reese. £98? Yeah, sure, I'll take that. And I'll take that colour and that colour. Do you know what I mean? It's more about the sta statement piece of the coat. But you can just throw these, like, Reese pieces on underneath. Reese's pieces. But yeah, like, I don't avoid stuff like this. It's very Love Island. I'm not a fan of stuff like that, especially in summer. Um, but they do a lot of decent items. A lot. I think I might have bought that for a holiday in blue. But yeah, they, they do they do some decent stuff. You just need to dive around, really. So let's go. This is irritating. All clothing websites do this. They've got coats. Their leather and suede, I will say, actually, is, is up there. It's up there with some of the best that I've seen. So coats, yeah, all pretty good. That's nice. You could do a lot with that. Uh, but I want to look at their leather and suede. Where is it? So it's more the suede. So leather, that's not that's not bad, you know. Eight hundred pounds. I think I'd rather spend it on boda skins, but it's not bad. Uh, okay, I've seen them have better stuff. But usually you've got like jackets like this, and they look fantastic. Okay, maybe it's yeah, it's not as good as I remember it, but. Moving on. I've realized I missed one brand as well. It's called Aurelion. But we've got a comprehensive list. So this is Bell Staff. Very expensive. Look, this wax jacket here, 1450 The Trial Master. you got to be a specific guy to wear this. Probably have to be a little bit older. Um, I don't know if you could wear this with a belly. I'm not sure if that would quite work. But they do these kind of like real countrified. It's kind of like a country Stone Island. That's how I would describe it. They they might be fuming by me saying that, but it is very similar. But um, yeah, I don't like this stuff. I hate the, I hate this stuff having logos on pocket. Like I I've always thought this was cheap. This is why I called it like a Stone Island. But what they do have is isolated. They have isolated pieces. Let's actually go and find them, right? So let's go. Is there an easy way of doing this? So you got leather, you got the suede, chilling coats. Okay. So they have this. Like these are game changers. £995. I love the navy. I think the navy works really well with the black. Like you could, you only have to buy that once. And you've got that for like five, ten years, you know? And that's what they do. They just do kind of, I know they do biker stuff as well. Some of their biker stuff is really nice, but... You've got to have a little search around. You've got to find something. Like, this guy's a bit younger. Like, that looks great. That coat looks fantastic. If you want to drop 995, you know, and you want something that's going to last. Maybe it's too late in the winter now, but this is a great brand. Maybe you save and wait for next winter. Uh, but, yeah, a few little pieces. I love these. I love these Trial Master jackets. I just think... I don't like the way that looks, but... Just it's it's just a certain style. Nobody's really got one. I like I like stuff like that. Let's see if we can see if we can find like the it's the you gotta find the right colour. And it like living where I live in Cheltenham, like this sort of see this one's only five hundred. Living where I live in Cheltenham, this sort of stuff does work. If you're going to the races and whatnot. You just gotta know how to wear it. You gotta wear it with confidence, but you've also gotta know how to wear it. Um yeah, a little bit different, but you got to search through. I think, I th for me personally, I like that one, but I think you'd have to do something different with it. I don't think you could walk around like that. I would maybe wear it open. More like, imagine like that, but more open and this falling. I think that would look pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, the, this is the type of site where like, I would say it's 90% stuff I wouldn't wear, but then when you filter through, you find some really good stuff. But their coats and whatever, they've got some real high quality leather stuff as well. That's pretty, that's pretty good. It depends who's wearing it. But yeah, some decent stuff. It's, it's definitely worth fil filtering through suede. It's very expensive, but, you, you know, I, I like sites where there's just like one or two things that I really like, which is the same as this site, which is House of Leather UK. Um, for you Americans, you might be like, how, how is that going to help me? It's going to cost a lot, but they they just have everything. Okay, like you could you could do something with that potentially. It's not that expensive. Uh, the one I've actually bought something from here, which I thought was really nice, uh, real sheepskin. So I've got that one, and you can see, right, guys. I don't know if you had the same, but like it just jumped out at me when I was filtering through here. I was like, same, same, same. Seen this before. Oh, and it's like there's jackets like this, 
I see guys wearing jackets like this all the time, but they're not this. Like that, that is, it is, it is different. When I wear it, people do comment on it. It's the material. It just looks significantly better. Yeah, I really like this. This is why I bought it, but yeah, that's another like statement piece, obviously like 340 quid, but some, it's warm as hell as well. You can see on the insides, but it's another good website. It's just a site that just has, it just has again, just like hidden gems. Like I'm looking at all this and I'm like, wouldn't wear that, wouldn't wear that. And then you just, as you're going through something just jumps out at you and you just think, do you know what? That is a statement piece. Like it would be something like that, right? Where I was I was going through and I was like, wow. It just gives you more options. So how's the leather? Uh, this is Alpha Tari. Now Alpha Tari has a bit more, Is I don't know, you guys have probably seen them in F1. They're more about function and purpose. So they're all about being waterproof and stuff like that. Real high quality clothes, quite a decent price. I wonder what they've got for their looks. Now they've, they, they have a streetwear element. They're very new age super dry. The guy who created super dry actually lives here. Uh, but they're very new age super dry. And uh, I think they would do so well in the Asian streetwear market. But you can see it almost has like this streetwear slash high level kind of element to it. You can see with this jumper too, like it's just different. You can see the material. It's, it's very space age. That's what I would say. It's very cyberpunky. Like I wouldn't wear that. I wouldn't recommend that. But I've got a coat from here. Uh, is this going to give us men's? It's similar to that. But you can see like you get these hidden pieces that just come out. Like, it might be out of season now. But you know the black coat that I often wear? Like that's different. You know the black coat that I often wear though guys? The longer one? That's where that's from. Alpha Tari. It was about 700. I think they've lowered it since. It might still be on here. Uh, but again, there's another one of these sites where there might be like 70, 80, 90% of the stuff on here. You're like, oh, it's not really for me. But then something just jumps out to you. Like, I think that's nice. Oh, it fits well. Look at that. With the seam and the shoulders, that fits so well. 990 euros, but it is nice. You know, and this is this is what I love about certain sites is when you actually, that's a great color. I would probably go for that. With the seam, the structure, that you can just see its quality, okay? And that is 360 euros. It's cheaper because nobody wants the green, maybe. I don't know, but they call it a pea coat. That looks great. You know, you just find these hidden gems on these sites. I'll try and find mine very quickly. If I can't, then we'll move on. That's quite nice. But like I said, they just have these hidden gems, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for that one or two piece item. I know it's a quality store. It might not be my style. It might not be something that, you know, I might not wear everything, but. That's not it, but they, I'll try and bring up a picture on screen, but it's really nice, but I found it there anyway. Alpha Tari, just keep an eye on them. Every season, they do one or two nice things. You can grab something decent. They're all waterproof too. Now, this is for rare. Now, watch this video. If I saw a woman dressed like this, now, obviously, it helps. She's beautiful. If I saw a woman dressed like this, I'm going straight over. I need to know. I need to know who she is. Now, I, I assume it's the same effect with men. A man dressed a certain way, I'm sure she might not come straight over, but I'm sure she's like, hmm, I wonder what that guy does. I wonder who he is. He looks the part. Now, this guy used to work with someone else. They had their own like kind of tailoring company. I remember it from back in the day on Instagram. I think he's gone and done his own stuff and just called it Ferrer. I know Jay-Z wears it. Uh, and this is expensive as hell. But this is for you ballers out there, guys who've got serious money. Okay, so they do like these real big statement pieces for like three, four grands. Uh, some of these like dinner jackets, a little bit crazy, but some of the suits look great. Okay, like I imagine if you get it fitted in a European style, it would look fantastic. Some of the women's stuff is really nice. Like women can wear, this is what I'm talking to you guys about, is like they can wear these vibrant oranges. We really can't do it. That's why we have to wear more muted colors. Like this is more masculine colors. Women can get away with stuff like that. What else do we have? That's a nice suit. It's just, it's just different, right? It's expensive, but different. That's why I like finding an, a nice range. This is nice. I love this coat. I'm definitely going to buy this coat. It's, I don't know if I can justify like £7,000, £6,000 on an overcoat, but I bet the quality is fantastic. 
And yeah, you're going to keep it for life. It's going to go with so many things. But that outfit is brilliant. If you want to screenshot an outfit, screenshot that, guys. That looks great. But yeah, even like that green suit looks fantastic as well. I think that's the owner. Is that no? The owner's on the right, but the green with the brown and the white that looks that looks fantastic. See again, women can wear that bright pink. Remember, I said to you guys earlier, you can't really do that as a man. They can wear it. You can't. It's different for us. I love this coat. Obviously, it's the same one but a different color. It'd be hard to find a coat like that. That's why you're going to have to pay someone like eight grand to get a real high quality version of it. Um. That is when you could go bright and get something like an orange with that statement piece, but the rest would probably have to be a black turtleneck. I don't think that outfit goes at all, but who am I to say? I'm no fashion expert. But yeah, they do they do nice stuff as well, guys. It's com it's something completely different, you know? So that's for rare. You can see there. You can, you can check them out. I know they do I know they do tailoring as well. Uh, what we got next? So suit supply. So going from something very expensive to something very affordable for you guys. A strange picture. You guys might be aware of these already. But they do pretty much everything. I think this is from suit supply. You can get pretty much every item imaginable. It is a really good quality, guys. It is a really, really good quality. Everything is, you know, it's affordable. Like you see 159... This is nice. I might even have this. 99. Supima cotton as well. It's some of the best cotton in the world. You're in good hands, guys. You're in really good hands. It all fits well. Fits probably like the average body. Like some of that you can... I use this as well to kind of space fill. So, oh, if I need just a top to go underneath, if I need a t-shirt. If like I'm not looking for my statement pieces on here, I just need something to go with something. You know, it matches all different types of guys. Like we're seeing different skin tones here. We're seeing different kind of builds, different hair colors and stuff like that. And it's working for everybody. So suit supply, just get on there. You could be on there for three, four hours. You could be finding stuff that just matches you, your body, your sort of your sort of tastes. You know, some people would wear that. Some people wouldn't. It depends what you pair it with. That's similar to that shirt we saw earlier. That's not actually too different. And you'd be paying probably a third of the price for it. It's a good quality material. Maybe you're this type of guy. Maybe you can get away with that. Maybe you can't and you need to go for something more, you know, something darker, like the all black outfit, £129. This is a good, this is a good site. I, don't, I wouldn't be wearing that, but no, it's a very good site. Everything that you'll need. I know they do jackets as well. Can we find that? Let's see if we can get to the top. Come on. It's probably, a, I didn't think it would take that long. Uh, let's have a look. Coats and vests. That seems like a weird thing to pair together. Oh, I get what they've done. Let's have a look at their overcoats. Pretty simple. £379. You're not going to get much cheaper than that in this day and age. That's very nice. 449 <coughs> Okay, so that's very nice. That's, that's rare as well. This is what I like. I like these pieces that nobody else has got. I might I might actually buy that when I'm done on this video. That's different. It's nice. I like the color. I don't. I have. I like the length. I've not really seen anybody have that. Yeah, I like that, guys. This is a good site. Suit supply. This is different. The hound's tooth in a different color. I don't think I'd wear that, but this is really nice. I've seen this before. Three seven nine. Dark green. You can get the gray as well. But yeah, another fantastic site, guys. That's a that's a lovely coat. All wool as well, six nine nine. You can tell as soon as it's something that really stands out, it's a bit more expensive. But Suit Supply's got everything on there. I, I really recommend getting on there and checking it out. Grenfell. Um, what would I say about Grenfell? You can see here, th this has really summed it up. All these different shades of like masculine green, these like down to earth greens. You can see the Walker, the Shooter, the Campbell, the Windsor, the Harrington, the Golfer. It's country fired. Like you can see here, sat on the gate in the country. It's that sort of it's that sort of brand. So let's take a look. Let's look at all men's. What I love about this brand is their trench coats. If you're looking to get a trench coat, I recommend getting it from these guys. These are really nice. I don't know what they've done with the colour, but that looks oh, it's two tone, okay. Two tone sage. I know it's eight nine five, but that looks beautiful, guys. You know it's waterproof too. Like that is a real standout piece. So's that. You can maybe get away with that. But that's a standout piece for 595. That's a standout piece. 
their their quality is unmatched in terms of these some of these coats. Let's have a look. They do they do trench coats. This is I, this is why when I first found them, I need to work on their website speed though. This is slow. Yeah, we'll find some trench coats. Bear with me. So these are more countrified things. Going out into the country and hunting, shooting, clay pigeon shooting, you'd see somebody wearing that. But if you wear it in the right way, it, you can really stand out, especially in the city because nobody's really wearing stuff like that. I imagine if you Americans dress like this as well, it would really hit because everybody, I think Americans dress quite sloppy, in my opinion. I think the suit, I think clothes just don't fit very well in general. So I think if you started showing up in some of these British fits, I think you'd look fantastic. These, I think these are great. This is very wartime. It's very Nazi, dare I say. But they dress well and it looks good. And you can see the quality up close. Like you can just tell. But yeah. Like I would wear that open. I, w I wouldn't wear that together. I'd wear that open. I'd let it swing down. I think that looks great. I think I would definitely go for the navy blue. We probably know what the black looks like. And they've got this sage. Which, this is what I'm talking about. It's not green. It's sage. It's olive. It's... It's salmon, it's dusty pink, it's not bright pink. These are the colours that you need to look for. But yeah, Grenfell, fantastic website. Expensive, yeah, agreed, but you're getting quality. Like, these are one-offs. So let's dive into some shoes, actually. This website is called Scorosso. Italian brand. I'll do a full one on shoes. I've got at least three, four pairs of their shoes. Always great quality. But they do a bit of everything. This is what I like. If you want loafers for the summer, they've got a good selection of shoes. Um, they've got boots for winter. They've got Chelsea boots, which are really nice. Yeah, like these. Got they've got these real standard ones. Like that's just you can see the black pair on the left. Like it's very just standard boot, but it does everything you need. They are a high quality. Mine have lasted a long, long time. Uh, what I want to show you, they, but like I said, they do everything. They've got kind of like trainers and they've got the, the going out shoes, the Oxfords and whatnot, you know, the lace ups, they're really nice. So they've got a bit of everything. I want to show you some of the Chelsea boots, but you see what I mean, right guys? Like they're nice with the buckles. You, you've got everything on here. That's why I just wanted to show you this site. Cause you've got everything kind of under one roof, but I want to find some of their Chelsea boots cause they are very nice. They do some variations on colours as well, which are different. But that was what that was. But they do the suede ones too. They're nice. They're really nice. We'll look at uh, 310. 310's not bad. Anti-slip rubber, which matters. I d dress like a gentleman, but I need to fight like an animal. I don't need to be slipping and sliding when I'm throwing overhand rights. Decent heel on them for that extra height. It's a trick as well, guys. Buy shoes regularly. Because you lose an inch when that rubber starts to wear down. You just you don't stand as tall. Um, they've started introducing these as well. I don't know if I'm a fan. I don't know. I'm sure you can make them work. These are nice. They can work with quite a lot of things. These are really nice. I th I've got them actually, I think. Uh, I like this. It's different. And do you know why I like that? Because I think you could pair it with something dark green. Whether it's a scarf, whether it's something simple. And I think it would be a bit of a statement. You know, if you were all black with a green scarf and they had the green on and it matched, I think, I think that could pop. Could be a green watch, could be something. I think it makes a difference. These are lovely. Axel Black Suede. If you're going to buy a pair of shoes, guys, and you really want to stand out, go and get these. Go on Scarosso. Scroll until you find these Axel Black Suedes. Look at the size of the heel as well. If you're a short guy, look at the size of that heel. It's going to give you an extra like inch or two of height. It's going to make you walk differently. They're a lovely shoe. They're going to go with so many different things. You've got to remember as well, when you're wearing jeans, it's going to cut off that much. So look at shoes like that. See what they look like. They look great. I would, I would go and get them. Three, four, five. I'm not telling you to go and spend your money, but that's what I would do. Same with these. Maybe a bit polished, but they're very, very nice. You know, but you've got some good options here. They're, they're a much safer option if you want to get those, but... I would go for those because I think chunky heel, you can wear them out on a night out and you can wear them in the day. Okay, you can wear the shit out of them, guys. Anti-slip. Three, four, five. Let's take a look. 
look through through a few of the images. That doesn't look like anti-slip, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah, that, that is a really nice shoe. I might buy them afterwards as well. I like that. Good quality, you can see up close. Watch out if it's going to rain. I think it could be okay, but you can always get them treated. If you're going to spend that much on a shoe, you can always get them treated. But let's go to the final one, uh, which is Thom Sweeney. I like this brand. I haven't bought too many things from them, but I've bought one or two things in the past. But they do, it's, it is quite expensive for what it is, but they do some... They, it's just on topic. It's on brand. They do some really high quality stuff. Can I scroll? Do I have to... Okay. Yeah, it's very... It's, it's different. My friend actually turned up in something... Like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's bog standard stuff. It is the bog standard, but it's great. Like wool, cashmere, like you'd expect this, the double-breasted overcoat. You could, you could find this in a lot of stores, but it's the quality that you're paying for when you come to this store. But this is what you need sometimes. You need these bog-standard stores where you know you, you like, oh, I need some gloves and I need an overcoat and a jumper. Yeah, well, I know where I can get them. Like if you want a coat like this, you can't really miss. How much is that? That's quite nice. 3295 okay. It's not all that expensive, I promise you. I've not just thrown some of these at you. I think I've given you a decent range, but yeah, Thom Sweeney's really good. So if we look at, uh, what have they got? I think it might be knitwear, maybe. So my friend who does actually make a lot of money, that's quite nice. But there's certain materials though, like this this ribbed, I think it's just had its day. It, it can, you can pair it with things, but I think certain materials have just had their day. What did my friend wear the other day? I think it was that. I think it was that bit in white. Have they got that in white? Okay, let's keep looking. They might have sold out. Oh, I hope they haven't sold out. It's a really nice piece. You can't really see the detail in. Here we go. My friend showed up in this. It's really nice, right? Something different. I know it's four. I know it's five four five. It's absolutely ridiculous to what it is. I don't. I don't actually recommend you guys doing this until you've got money. But it's a real nice piece. You can see there. But that is another website that I love. Let's uh, let's just do one more, actually, guys, because I did kind of promise. So this is cool. This is Aurelion. I've bought a few things from these guys in the past. Uh, let's just look at their jackets. I know that they have some great shoes. But yeah, you can get some good deals on these on the on on this site. Like that's a bit expensive. That is really expensive. That's very nice though. Um, they do very. What they do is variations of colors. I know that's very expensive, but they do variations of colors. And this is what I like the most, is the Smart Luxury was nice. I remember I bought a few things from here in um, in the summer. I got a few nice pieces. But what they do, like, they, it's not that expensive across the board. So 165, 365. But this is what I really liked about these brands, is when I went for footwear, if I found a really nice pair of shoes that I liked but I didn't like the color. For example, these. Oh, I like those, but I don't like the color. You click on it. They got 25 colors. That's what I really liked about this brand is 300 pounds. And you can, they've even got variations of like red. Like, do you know what I mean? Like there's variations of the exact same color, just very slightly changed. And then you come across, across a color that you really like and something you could pair it with. One of those Luca Filoni light blue shirts that we saw earlier. Um... I believe that's size 10, which is what I am. The baby blue yacht loafers. Super high quality. They look great. I'm not a fan of white bases, but in summer, I think it works. You get something like that with the blue shirt that I showed you. You know, you just get some white trousers, white t-shirt or something, and you know, where you go. Or you don't even need the t-shirt, but you know. Uh, uh, these were nice as well, these toweling shirts. I know Mike Thursden's released a section of these too. Uh, not very expensive, ninety pounds. This is what I struggle with. This would lift. This I don't know if this would match my body. Um, but you see something like this, and you go, "Yeah, it's nice." Let me find the color that I like. Okay, I like the white with those blue shoes. That's a that's a yacht outfit. Okay, I, I know Mike Thurston's released a uh, a line of these at the moment. These toweling shirts. They were for you know the towel boys at at pools. So it's like a spin on that fashion. So. Yeah, a good range there, guys. I believe that's 14 different brands. I think you guys can uh, can scroll through. You know, there's something for everybody's budget. You can still use your Zaras and your Gaps and whatever if you want. But, like, this is food for thought. If you can't afford any of these, fair enough. But, like, 
just just know that they exist because as you get older, you start making more money, a lot of this will feel cheap to you. And buying like a two grand coat that's going to last you for six months and then you can wear it again next year and it makes you look and feel a certain way, you're going to have a sense of pride because guys will spend five grand in a year going out and getting drunk on Saturdays, Fridays and Saturdays. They will spend 300 pound, they will, they will spend 500 pound on a new PlayStation and then they will buy about 20 games in a year. They'll spend a thousand pound on like a PlayStation and games and, you know, access to going li- on online with snacks. They'll get pizzas all year, whatever. And it's like, if you just prioritized something that's actually going to benefit your life more, yeah, I think it, I, th- I think that's the better option. You know, like I said, people will people have no problem spending five six hundred pound on a, on a, the PlayStation. Is it five that they've got now? They'll spend they'll spend five hundred pound on a PS five, but they won't go and spend five hundred pound on a coat. You're probably going to use them just as just the same. You're going to dress a certain way. You're going to look a certain way. Like if I said to you, men are going to treat you better. Um, you're going to get better results at work because they're going to see you as a more professional individual with more money. Um, someone they can trust. If you were showing me around a house and you showed up just looking like some kids, I'd be like, oh, I can see what you've done. Whereas if you showed up in like really expensive clothes, you were dressed really well, I'd be like, oh, he might be young, but this guy's a killer. He's on the right level. I need to show him some respect. And you'll get treated differently by police, everybody, right? If the, if, I, if I said to you, that's going to happen. And then I also said, you're going to get way more attention and respect from women and they're going to treat you differently. Would you not do that rather than buy the latest PS5? Because I would. I definitely would. So I think a lot of guys, instead of worrying about the price, need to worry about the cost per wear and the benefit to your life. Because there's a lot of things you're spending money on, like takeaways and alcohol, nights out, you know, getting yourself a PS5 or something like that. And it has no benefit to your life. Like people have no problem buying technology or um, just, for example, something like this. Somebody actually bought this for me as a present, but it was like, I think they're like 150, 300 pounds. People have no problem buying this, but they have a massive problem with getting, you know, like a, like a 400 pound coat. I don't really understand it. Everyone's got like the latest iPhone when it comes out every year, but nobody wants to actually dress properly. Strange, but if you enjoyed this video, guys, I'm going to make a few more. I'm going to go, I'll do a whole one on shoes. Um, I'm going to start doing interactive stuff on the course. If you want to get the course, it's below. I'm going to start doing interactive stuff where I actually buy a lot of these clothes and um, show you different outfits and what you can do and how it can make a difference. I'm going to really dive deep into that because obviously the course, I'm getting paid for that. I can inject money. It makes it makes sense, you know, but I might release one of the episodes for free on here. Uh, but I'll speak to you all soon, guys. Have a good one.